die for the feeling I inspire. You may tie a by and by. Fog is with flowing coffers, press that offers, that is why. Though I think we should not tarry, had we marry you and I. If we make it out to tarry, had we marry you and I. With the poor and trapped and made it to made it you and I. You will go to him and plead for us? No, no, impossible. But our happiness, our very lives, depend upon us obtaining his consent. Oh, madam, you cannot refuse to do this. You know not what <coughs> you can ask. The Lord Chancellor is my husband. Your, your husband. husband? My husband and your father. But then our course is plain. Upon learning that Strephonus is son, all objections to our marriage will be at once removed. But nay, he must never know. He believes me to have died childless, and dearly as I love him, I am bound under penalty of death not to undeceive him. But see, he comes. Quick, my babe. Victory! Victory! Success has crowned my efforts, and I may consider myself engaged to Phyllis. At first, I wouldn't hear of it. It was out of the question, but I took heart. I pointed out to myself that I was indeed no stranger to myself. In point of fact, I had been personally acquainted with myself for some years. This had its effect. I admitted that I had followed my professional advancement with considerable interest, and I heartily admitted that I loved my personal advancements and my public advancements as well. This was a great point gain. I then endeavored to work upon my feelings. You can see my joy, but I distinctly perceived a tear glistening in my own eye. <laughs> Eventually. Severe struggle with myself, I reluctantly, most reluctantly, consented. <laughs> <laughs> 